Hey, y'all. Uh, Charlie and I went to Bonnie and Clyde Flea Market today over in Arcadia, Louisiana. And uh, I'm. this is a clip before the next clip. Wait till you see the next clip. Uh, the next clip is proof that you can meet some of the most interesting people in some of the oddest places. And uh, Charlie and I met a guy who's been in bunches of movies and commercials and we talked to him for about an hour, and and I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier, but like after we were nearly done talking, I said, hey, do you mind if I get a few minutes of talking to you on film? Because I have a YouTube channel, and I wish I had got our whole conversation. The things he's done and the places he's been, is just uh, the movies he's been in and the commercials he's shot, it's just an incredibly interesting person. On top of that, he raises miniature these miniature animals, and uh, that was uh, interesting in itself, and uh, I was having a... You know, he had a lot of people coming around, and we were really monopolizing his time, and I felt guilty about talking to him that long because other people wanted to talk to him too. And uh, anyway, uh, I really, that was the, the high point of going to Bonnie and Clyde. And uh, we're going to go back. He's got some miniature pigs that, uh, uh, ten, like a 10-pound, full-grown pig, 10-pound, and she's got babies. And uh, maybe we'll get to see the babies next month. I don't know. I think I think he said he was going to bring her next time. Anyway, watch this clip. Incredibly interesting. And uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Okay, you know I, I uh, video interesting things. Well, here is an interesting person. And uh, would you tell me just some of the movies you've been in? That's I just can't believe I haven't recorded this. All right. Well, in the last year, I am a real live cowboy, but I did Magnificent Seven. I filmed it for four months. In most of the movie, I'm an evil guy, but not always. Um, I'm on a horse most of the movie, but I'm also on the ground a lot of times doing evil or mean things. And when I finished Magnificent Seven, then I filmed a little bit in uh, Wolverine 3. I'm a cowboy in it, but I'm a modern day cowboy and not one back in the Western days. Um, it was a lot of fun. I was actually a gambler in a casino, but if you watch that movie, you'll see me there. Uh, with a wife whom I don't know her name in the movie, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, when I finished that, I did have another role as a cowboy. I was advertising for uh, Can Am. If you uh, type in 2017 Can Am accessories, you'll see me in some of their ads. That was a lot of fun. And then I'm going to start two new movies, uh, which I have major speaking roles in the next month or two. And one of those, I can't tell you the name yet, it'll be a guy who wakes up from a coma after many years. And the other movie is going to be a horror movie, so that's the next two movies that I'm scheduled to do. I'm studying the scripts now. But, uh, wow. And this okay. is like a sideline. Yeah, I show animals all over the United States. I show miniature cattle all the way from Florida. Well, you know what you look like? The world's most interesting man. Yeah, <laughs> that guy, yeah. well, those Ackies. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I raise a lot of different kinds of animals, but all are miniatures except the zebras. Yeah. I sell zebras all over the world. I've had some zebras that come out in movies because I do train them extremely well. How um, much monkey? And I have had a monkey that used to perform in the rodeos riding horses, but I don't have him anymore. Mm. Uh, he's moved to Florida and he's retired now. Well, but, can you uh, ride zebras? You can ride zebras. I used to think not, and I raised them for many years before I found out you really could. And I sold one to a young lady, and zebras are very hard to train. I take them off their mothers when they're two weeks old. And I train them to lead and be very calm, and then I sell them to the new owners. But the majority of my zebras go overseas. I sell them to Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia. Wow. Uh, well, what, what I sent they one to Africa this year. They, <laughs> like people that. like they my zebras them. because they're yeah. very calm, because I do take them off their mothers at two weeks and train them. But you do need to work with zebras daily, or they revert back to the wild state. Not as wild as they would be if you didn't hand raise them, but wow. they're still uh, they're nervous naturally. I would not recommend one just buying it for a pet, even though I do have some that will come and eat out of your hands, and they'll follow me anywhere at my house into the barn or something with a bucket of feed. But I just think zebras are beautiful just out in your pasture. And people who call me want to buy a pet, I say I don't recommend that, and I'm not trying to tell people not to buy them for a pet, but it would require an awful lot of work. And they can be trained to ride. A very good friend of mine trains them for a living, and it's, it's the girl I was talking about. And she trained them for many years in California, but now she's moved to Texas, which is much closer to me. But uh, 
I love all my animals, but the zebus and my zebras are my two favorite species I raise. They look we, very calm and... They are. We also raise uh, many pigs, and I mean mine are extremely many. I have a 10-pound female who's about to give birth to her. Jeez, 10-pound female pig. That's the smallest pig I've ever seen, and many people don't believe it. I wish I had her with me, but uh, she'll be traveling with me after she has pigs this week. <laughs> so. And we raise miniature goats and other things too. But, uh, the zebras and the cattle I enjoy the most. Um, and his, his small pig is probably going to be teacup. Yeah. A teacup pig. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that will. Be. They're I mean, so small. I mean, you could carry the mother in, you know, with your hands. Yeah. Very She's really sweet. Pounds. You could just pick her up and do yeah. anything with her. But, uh, the cows we show all over the United States, as I've said, and we start showing. We have a show in Waco, uh, October sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then we come to Louisiana, it'll be our national show this year of the miniature zebu cattle, and that's around October the 10th. Uh, it's the last weekend of the fair every year, the miniature cattle show is. Get a close up at this one right here. You said, how old is this one right here? The it's, it's four months. Four About five, months old. Four or five months old. Oh, These two. Beautiful. The colors of those you're looking at, the black and whites, are extremely rare. That's a half brother and half sister. Okay, beautiful. And, uh, when I go to the shows, everybody knows me because I, I show mostly paints, which are the real bright colored ones. They'll say, oh, there he comes again. <laughs> well, I remember that movie, what was it, Daryl Hannah and that African movie she did. She was riding that in zebra, and I was going, no way. And then I went and read, and they had painted horses to look like. Well, in the movie uh, Magnificent Seven, did you have a character name? I um, actually had three different roles in that movie, but really? most of the time I was a Blackstone Wrangler, and those were the cowboys, the evil cowboys on the horses most of the time, but sometimes on the ground. I was also a rough rider in that movie where you wore a trench coat, and I remember I was riding one night with that trench coat, and uh, that's about the only night that I had a scene in, and it was, I really don't know, I can't remember if it was a funeral or a wedding, but everybody was really dressed up in that scene. Uh, well, that how long movie. ago was it that you shot that? Between, yeah. you know, it's just come out, so yeah, it, it isn't... It was, I started, it ended a year ago. Okay. I mean, it went, it's been a year since we finished it. Uh, finished, uh, we started, we filmed in June through September of last year so we've been almost a year since we finished so and how does someone get into that i mean how did well, you happen to well that? that's a great thing to say uh i actually took acting for a year in shreveport and after i finished it someone called and told me they're doing a western in uh well, it's really one of my teachers said, they're doing a Western in South Louisiana and we think you should go for it. I said, well, I was going to go for it. I saw it advertised also. So I went down and I told them I'd like to be a cowboy in their movie. And they said, we really like you and the way you look, but we're not going to hire anybody without a beard. And I never had a beard. So I said, how long do I have to see if my beard will grow? They said, two months. We're going to do our picking of whom we want in a movie. I said, I'll be back. I went back and I walked in and they said, you're hired as a cowboy. Huh. But you said on your application you wanted to be a you know someone who rides the horses in the movie. And I said, yes, I do. They said, well, we have tryouts next weekend for that. And they had about 200 people in that uh, tryout, and very few people made it. But yeah. I was one of those who did, and I was very excited about it. Was there... You look like a Western. Yeah, you definitely yeah. have that I have to tell look. you that one of the directors said, we really like your looks. And I said, oh, thank you very much. And he turned to another person and he said, don't you think he's the meanest looking yeah. cowboy we've got? <laughs> and I said, well, forget the thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, I think. I can you. be really mean too when I'm shooting people and things like that. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to have to, I really, uh, I, I, we're not big movie watchers, but that is one that I yeah, wanted to watch. Yeah, me too. I said right. it has a lot of actors we like. And, yeah, and the, great actors. The idea of the movie is just yeah. something we. And it comes on, it, it comes out this week, September 23rd. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be a great Tell them out the room. No, no. I also, I also did other movies and TV things, and some I didn't enjoy, but I enjoyed The Magnificent Seven. Yeah. I enjoyed all of them, but that one I would do again. It, even though it was extremely hot filming it, it was like 105 out in the sun. Jeez. It was, it was really hot. 
Uh, well, uh, the things ago. that you have done, have they been here or have you gone to Hollywood? or? Uh, no, they've all been in Louisiana. Yeah, well, people don't realize the amount yeah. of films that are fi We That's live, you know, uh, day one, Jack Black movie, day one? I was in it. We're yeah, across the street from yeah, where we that lived shot. Just down it's the road down on Dorchester. Yeah, yeah, I was in uh, uh, year one. Is no kidding. Like I was. My son was in that movie, and he told me about it. I actually went to the movie to lease them my camels. At that time, I raised camels too. And I said, "Gosh, we wish you'd been here two weeks earlier. And we're bringing them in from California. Wow. But you would just fit our soldier uniforms with the little leather skirts and all that. Yeah. Would you like to be, a, you know, one of these soldiers?" Jeez. I said. Well, since I'm here, yeah, I'll do it. So I well, shot that for two months also. Well, well you have that movie. type yeah. of... Uh, Real uh, common looking guy. Well, huh? you, and you, you know, yeah. it, you're on film now and yeah. you fit the... Fit the well, mold, yeah. We, uh, that set is still there, and they've yes. shot a lot of other movies yeah. back yes. in that area, and we live just down the street from All that right. set. All right. I really wanted yeah. to go down there and get some footage of that, but it would be trespassing. Yeah, and I couldn't it do. But it's, it's it, beautiful. It's a beautiful set. Yeah, well, it's but, right off the bayou, yeah. and yeah. I'm on the bayou all the time. Yeah. Well, and we, Minden, they yeah. shot a lot of movies yeah. there in Minden. Well, this is going to be one of my most interesting videos, okay. and uh, right. it, it was really a pleasure to meet you. Right. Thank nice you very much. And I did tell you about Can-Am, me filming for Can-Am. Can-Am, Can 2017 Can-Am commercial. That's it. Well, yep. are you riding, there's, what is it, Spock? Right. Yeah.